This is in San Francisco. Apple's Developers Conference is now underway. People have been camping out for days for this event for very expensive tickets to hear uh, the, the top uh, CEO and, and, and officials from, from Apple lay out the plans for, their, for the future. Uh, George Stahl's here to talk to us about it. Mm -hmm. um, it is a cult, right? It is a cult. And, it, it, and, and what, what, are, what does the, the cult leaders have in store for us? <laughs> well, there, there's a couple of things that we're expecting. One is a new mobile operating system. So this is the operating system that, that, that Apple has for their iPhone, iPads, and, and iPod touches. So we expect that. In that new system, there should be maybe a greater link to Facebook to make it easier to coordinate stuff with Facebook, maybe some photo video sharing ability. The other big thing we're expecting is a new line of computer products, mm -hmm. laptops, Tops, traditional Macs and stuff like that. Right. They were all cycling on a year anniversary of their latest update for, for many of those products. So we should see new one and it comes right before back to school and right before the new Windows right. operating system. But it doesn't out. sound like there's like a, a, a killer product in there necessarily to justify the sort of uh, enthusiasm for it. I mean, is it? Is right. There we're not going to, we're not, we're unlikely to see a new iPhone. We're unlikely to see this Apple TV that we've all been waiting right. to hear about. But you're right though. It is, it is a cult following. You know, it, it's amazing to think that more than half of the U.S. households have one Apple product, wow. yeah. and those that do have an Apple product usually have more than one. The average is three. Right. So, uh, so you know, there, there is there's a there's a cult that's been forming, and so everybody just wants to hear the, they 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 love these products so much right. that they they feel like they're part of the cool kids right. by owning it. So that's why they're so eager to hear the latest announcements to hear what the latest tricks and gadgets they can do. Now, now one, one sort of indicator of this, of course, is the fact that the they've lowered the age of, of that people can attend to 13, from right, 18 right. to 13. Is this because of you know, developers being of that age, or, or is it just the sheer following? I, I think it's just them trying to tap the youth market. Apple's yeah. always been very aggressive about being going after the education market mm -hmm. and, and um, tapping into to people young. Um, and it's funny to think, you know, you can't really have a Facebook page till you're 13, but yet you can be a developer for, for Apple products. <laughs> and this, this is a key group of people for Apple. <coughs> the yeah. apps are a big reason why the iPad has, has dominated in that sector and why Absolutely. the iPhone remains a formidable force. And it's these developers that make those apps. So they're playing to a very important crowd for the, for the company. But, you know, one of the things I find fascinating about these events in themselves is that it's a fundamental part of, of Apple's DNA in the sense that, it, yes, they produce these fabulous products, but if they don't build the buzz around the products and the events are very much a part of that, then, then are the products the same? I mean, what, what comes first? the buzz or the product yeah right? it's, it's tough to tell what what's happened first but where we are now is the fact that every one of these events gets a lot of buzz and Apple d doesn't have to do too much mm. to try to tap into that buzz and to and to get it going but d does it, it compel you know guys like cook to, to actually uh, perform in, in a way that's that's you know beyond the role of being CEO he has to in fact really sort of act and, and perform at these events. Right. right. I mean, one of the reasons why these or these events over the years have been so popular for Apple is because of the, the personality and persona of Steve Jobs and what he brought to the events. Cook and Schiller and some of the other Apple executives don't quite have that same presence on stage that, that Jobs has. So it's more incumbent on them to make sure that the products live up to the image as opposed to the image leading the products.